Right, so this is my plan. So, a little sketch. Um, got the hot tub here, the out, and the in. So, I'm going to plumb it into the bottom of the hot tub. The flow is going to come this way. The weight of the water is going to want to push down anyway and push that water out. When I think about it now, I don't even know if I need a pump because the, the weight of that water is always pushing down really fast anyway. It's going to come through, it's going to go into the in of the pump, come out of the out of the pump, obviously it's pushing it a little bit more. It's going to go around the coil and then it's going to then it's going to come back out and into the top of the hot tub. I mean, I don't know whether I should turn these around, but I'm thinking because of the weight of the water, it's going to help push this water through. So that's why I want the outs to be at the bottom of the tub. And I think this coil is going to lean up against this fence here when I want it. And then when I don't, I can slide it into that gap and the pump will also live in there as well so when i'm not using it i literally just slide it in this is literally a sunspot you can see the sun there it's literally totally opposite this corner gets really hot there we go i'll go in the corner and you can see how bright it is now and this is the spot for it so the hard bit i'm struggling with is connecting this pipe hard rigid pipe to something that's flexible which can come in and out of the tap, in and out of the hot tub. I'm thinking of using sort of like this hose that you get for garden hoses to be the flexible hose that goes into the pump, that goes into the hot tub and out the hot tub. Just because it doesn't kink, if I start moving this left and right, left and right, I'll do a little test alert. It just bends straight away. So I'm thinking of connections and obviously it's got to go into my pump too. My pump. A bit of a nightmare with the pump because it's got two different outlet sizes. I found this hose off car, so it's a radiator hose. That one goes nicely on the end here. If I push it in, it's got a lovely tight fit. And then this small pipe, slightly smaller, goes on the top. So this is the out, this is the in. So that does go on nicely. And then, but once these two are on, it goes on like that. So now all I need to do is sort of, if I look at my drawing, I've got the out, which is here. I've got to connect that to this end, where is it? That end of the hose. So that is my struggle, is trying to connect this to, well, something flexible to that end. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I've got two different outlet sizes and I've got two, three different types of pipe which I'm going to be playing around with which I need to then connect up. Ultimately I was thinking of using these as my connection so I can disconnect it. So if that goes on the end, you know, like that, then I can connect it and disconnect it whenever I want or move it in and out, just disconnect it and move it and shove it in that gap. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to connect all the pipes together. That's what I'm doing now. But there's the drawing, that's what I'm trying to follow anyway. I had to sketch it out because I've got two connections. I've got connections here and I've got connections here. And I need to come off of this coil as well. So I'm going to cut this short, I think, here. And then because it's less likely it's going to kink if I cut it here and then just come off with something flexible. And the same on this side as well. Maybe just cut it. This one here, I'm gonna cut probably around this point here and then come off with that flexible rubber hose or garden hose off of this point. So yep, yeah, that's the plan. See how that goes and I'll come back to you. At least the sun's out.